Hey everyone, Matt Bisarsik from RazorEmporium.com coming at you today for a very quick video. I want to show you how to load some of the most common double-edged razor types out there. Let's load them. Let's get started. Guys, I know it may be simple to some of you out there, but I get these questions. I get these emails and because of that, you're gonna get a video. People ask, how do I load one of these? I, I don't even know, what, well, Matt, what am I doing? What, what is this? How do I put a blade in here? So we're gonna show you some of the most common types of razors and how to load them. We'll start with the basic, the most fundamental, a three piece style. I grabbed a vintage Gillette fat handle tech as it's called probably one of the most ubiquitous and famous gillette razors ever made that's also the exact same as this parker razor over here that i grabbed this is the 26c so they're both three-piece style razors i'll do the the gillette since it's already in my hands and that one's in a box and i don't want to have to unpack it so i'm grabbing a perma sharp but all double-edged blades are the exact same guys they all are the same i'm gonna take a blade and now this is important if you didn't already know it does say on the blade box in the blade wrapper be very careful when you unpack these. It's a little tiny envelope and it's there to protect the edges. So be really careful if you don't dull the edges. They can get dulled from just hitting the wax paper and getting all messed up. Let's pull them off, get our blade out safely. And yes, you should hold the blades by the outer edges. If you're crazy like me, you grab the sharp edge. Ah! But seriously, just, just the side edges. I'm gonna set it down just for a second on my sink. And I got a three piece razor. What's the combination of this thing? So you hold the head, you grab the handle. We do a little twist, a little shout. Handle comes off, cap, as it's called. Goes in the palm of your hands. Blade goes on top of said cap. Guard goes on top of said blade. We've now sandwiched the blade between the cap and the guard. And if you're looking at a, at a guard, guys, it's always gonna be curved. And the safety bar is, you're not gonna put it together like a clam. It's gonna go together like this, these corresponding pieces to make a sandwich. You can see a little reveal of a blade. And now I can, I can grab that. And the safest, easiest way is just to thread that handle right back on while it's in the palm of your hands. No chance of getting cut unless you are going haphazardly fast at this. You can grab the side if you need to and just give it a firm little tighten. You don't need to strip the threads. Don't crank it down. Just get it snug and you're good to go. You're ready to shave. And I always tell people, this does nothing. Right there when you find that angle where the blade comes out, that's your shaving angle. So you can always work by going from the top of the cap and riding that cap to starting to go down until you feel the blade engage. Now, let's do a two-piece style. Okay, one of the most famous two-piece razors ever out there is Mercur 34. Now this happens to be the gold-plated variety. Just, just to give you guys some variety of what you're seeing. They do make the gold. The G, the gold. So we got that, and you're saying the same thing. Matt, what is the combination to this? I, I, how do I unlock the secrets of the universe with this? Real easy, two-piece style. Bottom is actually gonna open, so we're gonna grab it and twist. You'll feel that top cap kind of disengage, and now that top cap can be removed, okay? I'm gonna tell you to do this exactly the same way. I'll put the handle down, I've got the cap. Cap goes in the palm of my hand. Double-edged blade, holding by the sides, carefully goes over that, onto the guiding posts or alignment tabs, whatever you wanna call it. And now I can drop it like it's hot right on top and just slowly start turning that until my threads are back engaged and I've got it resecured. Simple, easy peasy, nothing to it. Lemon squeezy. Okay, and now for one of the more uh, easy razors out there, a butterfly, also known as a TTO, which stands for twist to open. See, see what I did there? I twisted it to open. I butterflied open. I silo doored it open. I missile siloed it. I've heard these doors called everything. It's missile silo doors opening up. It's bomb bay doors dropping a bomb. I, I, they're butterfly doors to me. They're, they're one piece, one piece razor. So we did three piece, 
We did two piece and now the one piece. So this is the easiest of all. It's actually why Gillette made the very first butterfly razor in 1934 was for the quick load. Most of them are gonna have a little hook and you actually can use that. See how that little center bar has a little hook on it and your blade here has a corresponding little notch. Bam, do you see that? Let's do instant replay. Oh crap. Let's do instant replay. Yeah. Close it back up. So simple, right? I'm ready to shave. And the same thing, you don't have to crank this down, just give it a nice little snug. The Gillette's have like a little kind of quarter turn lock. You're good to go. If you don't have that quarter turn, just clean it with some dish detergent and it'll get it right back. But again, that thing's ready to go. Won't shave like this, won't shave like this, just at that right angle, like 20, 22, 25 degrees, you'll feel it engage and you can be shaving away. Butterfly razor for quick loading, easy access, bam. Bam, easy. Well, whether it is a one piece, a two piece, or a three piece style razor, we've showed you the secrets of unlocking the universe of double edge shaving of how to load these guys up. I hope you now are confident to go forward and give yourself the best shave of your life. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have a question, a comment, a concern, or anything else for me, leave it below in the comments. And we'll see you next time at Razor Emporium for all things vintage shaving. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm.